So we are going to store fog in a bottle. Uh, let me cut you to the fireplace. Here we are back again. Uh, and we are going to make a spark. <laughs> Put it out because we don't want a smoke. And then uh, cut again to my set uh, setup. Okay, now we're back on to the setup. And uh, wait a second, uh, I have food. Wait, why is it not possible? Okay, kabloom. Uh, now we can shine a torch and see all the fumes. This would make it easier to capture it in a bottle. So we grab a bottle and then place it on it. Uh, I might have to turn off the fan here. It's messing with the. It's messing with it. You can have some. Uh, have some fumes over there. Okay. Boom. Fan off. Uh, so we place our bottle. Uh, so we place a st uh, spark stick over here and then you can see the fumes are leaking and then we quickly grab it. Boom! Fumes in a bottle. Uh, I swear it's not that bright. It's more, yeah, it's uh, like this bright because of, uh, my, uh, because of the cam light looks like it's a bulb. So yeah, bye guys. Actually, you know what? I'll just prove it to you that there are fumes inside here. Uh, so if I open it up, see those fumes, and you can also touch the spark. But uh, for this, uh, you have to place it sideways or else you're going to bo burn your finger off because it's uh, close to the plastic. The plastic uh, doesn't have a high and uh, it's going to get hot. Why is it still making fumes? What? Why are you still making fumes? It's still making fumes. Fumes. How? How is this happen? Oh, it says stop making fumes. It was just me, okay. So yeah, bye guys. Ow, it's hot. <laughs>